All right, so I'm back working on character designs. I don't know why I keep thinking I'm more ahead of myself than I actually am. Or like each time I start moving forward with my comic, there's more character designs that I need to do. And I keep thinking I have everybody squared away, but there's just like little nuanced things that I have to go back and sort of fix. So now I'm going back and working on this character from my new comic that I'm working on now. Still don't have a name for it because I'm tossing that up in the air at the same time. Because it may not sound like it, but I'm actually making a lot of decent strides with my comic now. I feel like I'm in a groove at this point. I uh, didn't necessarily feel like this a couple of weeks ago, but kind of have a handle on stuff now. Which, while I'm on the topic of my new comic, I had sort of a... I think in my last video a few weeks ago, I had this conversation where... I was talking about how I was stuck on what direction I necessarily wanted to take with my comic, whether or not I was going to do it in black and white or in color. And I had reasons as to why I wanted to do one or the other. And I've come to figure out what I want to do. And that is to actually make the comic book in color. His head is way too enormous. Let me fix this. I'm doing my comic in color. And I thought about it long and hard, and after reading pages from Infinite Uppercut, which, by the way, has concluded, you could read the entire thing on Webtoon, should be a link in the description. I actually plan on putting out a full volume of Uppercut out for ebook, so you can read it all in one shot rather than having to scroll through pages on a, one, uh, on a website. You can have it at your own sort of disposal whenever you want to read it. But anyways, uh, that's out of the way. Um, with Uppercut, that comic was so vibrant and bright. And I took a long, hard look at my art and realized I can't in good conscience think that I'm going to be able to make a new comic in black and white and get away with that. Like, I myself wouldn't want to, whatever this new comic is, to read it in black and white. Like, I want there to be colors in here. Now, as far as the actual style and visual look that i'm still trying to figure out and that's expected because i still have to finish drawing out uh concepts of my environments etc cetera, etc cetera. so i was expecting that but not knowing whether or not to do it in black and white or in color eh. plus i do have some more environments that i need to work on i may live stream them i may just do a normal video with them. I'm not really sure yet because I still have to actually start sketching it out or finish sketching it out running to start. But I'm almost ready for chapter one of my comic. I'm so close, but not there quite yet. And now we're almost at the midpoint of May. So I want to kind of get moving with this. And I'm also going to have to kind of improvise with this. Sort of flesh out his arm some. I'm still going to have to improvise some here. And I've also even gotten to the point of taking like the positives from working on Infinite Uppercut. Almost like making a checklist of the things that sort of work with that comic. Sort of keeping those things in mind as far as this new one is concerned. And I know one big thing is I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna have to figure out the humor in this comic. Cause at first I was saying that I wanted my new comic to be darker in nature. I don't think that's accurate. I think more serious is a more apt word to use, but I don't want it to be too serious cause that's not my style. Also, by the way, for anyone wondering, the character that I'm working on right now is Spirit Lion. This is sort of my comic book nod to Tiger Mask and King from Tekken. Never really been sure what the big affinity is with uh, sort of wrestling tigers and professional wrestling in general. Wrestling tigers and professional wrestling, I was redundant. But, uh, not sure the gigantic connection as to why that's a thing. And I've always been a fan of King and Tekken. Plus, I always thought it was cool that Eddie Guerrero was uh, the Black Tiger Mask. So I wanted to some way incorporate that into my comic. And as you might be able to tell from a lot of my drawings in my channel, I'm a big wrestling fan. So this is actually going to have a pretty huge influence on my next comic. But not too much so like Infinite Uppercut. That was basically my way of just getting my love for uh, fighting games out of the way in mocking fashion. I've been doing this a lot the last couple of days. 
I don't know what angle I move my tablet in, but it's like I've been having these odd angles while drawing. It's kind of getting irritating because I can't find my groove as the position of the tablet pen now. I was trying to debate whether or not I want to keep the weightlifting belt on him or not. Also didn't finish detailing his hair, but it's not that big of a deal. I'm doing this just to sort of see how I want the full design to look. Cause I'm also gonna have to color extra detail into this. Also a little uh, nugget. I'm always pulling inspiration from the most random of things when I make my artwork. Which is what you're supposed to do, right? Like pull inspiration from the things you like. But this actual look, um, well, not the look, but the color scheme, I uh, got from Hulk Hogan's character in No Holds Bar. Oh, I switched the arms. I was about to say, why is the tassels not? But yeah, I took a lot of inspiration for, from different things for this character. Over the top, no holds barred, uh, no holds barred, tiger mask, king, juice and thunder liger, who was legit one of my favorite wrestlers when I was like, I think I first started wrestling when I was a small child. Imagine my surprise when I got older and realized he was based off of an anime character, which I also don't get how that was legal, by the way. It would be the equivalent of a guy wrestling that like, WWE today and his name is Batman. Now, not that I'm gonna actually roll with this color scheme editor, but I would like to see what suggestions it would have on colors. Just cause I need a third and I wanna roll with black, but I just wanna see what else might pop up. And the only reason why I really love using the uh, colors.co is just because it gets me out of my typical brain of thought as to how I would roll with certain colors. I don't know, me personally, I can get into routines quite easily. So to do little things to sort of break out of certain habits and routines that I have is always good for me. Creative routines, I don't mean like day to day. I'm one of those people that actually like doing the same things a certain way every day. But for some reason, I can't have that all the time in my art. Why am I not copying the colors correctly? No, oh, I'm not opening it up. So, uh, which I don't know why I did this anyways, considering that so the color of his boots already. See what it looks like if I did it on both sides. Right, I like it. It's simple and won't require me to do a whole bunch of extra, like, tiring detail when I'm doing this regularly with my pages. Though I'm sure even this would get old after a while, just the level of detail, even though it's not much. Ah, I didn't mean to close this. I'm going a little outlandish with the design on this one, but yeah, this one is definitely overkill. But okay, uh, one last idea and see if I can blend the two and see what that looks like. I 
that one, that one, or that one. I think I like this one the most. Yep, I think I'm rolling with this one. Alright, so just got a glimpse of my brain during character design, but <laughs> in any event, I'm calling it quits for now. One more design complete. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And you all have a good one. And I'm out.